Hello, I'm Asbin, and today I'll be walking you through a new feature in Land Super, Windows driver scanning, something that you've been very vocal about, and uh, we've obviously heard the feedback. Uh, Land Super is already great at scanning a lot of details about Windows devices, um, but today I'll be also covering Windows driver scanning. So we finally added that um, with additional details like the version of the driver. Um, so something that's very useful also in cybersecurity use cases where obviously driver version is important that you can identify which drivers are installed on your device, which version they have, and therefore determine whether they're out of date, up to date, or you know, missing at all. So uh, let's, uh, let's dive in into Land Super and take a look. So here we are within Land Super. We're on one of the Windows assets. So first thing, we're going to take a look at where you can find the new information about drivers. And we'll have to head over to Config, Windows, and then there's a new tab there called Drivers. Uh, so in here, we have three types of drivers. So we have the system drivers, the PNP signed drivers, and the printer drivers. And with all of them, plenty of details, such as the caption, the name, uh, the path, what kind of service type it is, also the start mode and whether something is running or not. Uh, some of the details also differ depending on whether you're looking at the system drivers or the PNP signed drivers or printer drivers. So for the PNP signed drivers, we have some additional details where you can also specifically take a look at the driver version, which will be interesting for many of you, um, as well as some of the additional details that you can find there. Looking at printer drivers, um, there's a similar amount of data here. So also full version is located there in case you need to check it, um, as well as hardware ID, which might be of use. So aside from looking at the assets individually, we obviously also have reporting to take a look at all of the data across all of your devices in one single overview. That's what reporting is for. So let's take a look at some of the reports and how you can use them uh, in combination with the driver data. So we'll start by searching here for driver and we'll get an overview of some of the new driver reports. Um, so we can take a look here at all of the running system drivers, for example, we just get an overview of every single device and all of the drivers that are currently running on it. If we scroll a bit to the right, we get the caption, the name and the path name here. And also obviously the start mode and state, which is important. Uh, similar to any report here, if you want to find a specific driver, something that you're looking for, then you can also just use the filters at the top to uh, find something specifically. So similar to all of our other reporting, obviously you can fully customize the report. You can use all the data that uh, I've previously shown to create your own reports, uh, add your own conditions, etc. For your specific use case, obviously uh, knowing which drivers are installed is key. Uh, therefore, you know, if something doesn't work, you know why, but also for cybersecurity use cases, having an overview of all the drivers installed and specifically their version is very important. That way, if something does go wrong, if there is a vulnerability in a driver, you can quickly find it. You can find where it's installed and what version it's running so you can fix the issue. Um, and with that, we've come to the end. So thank you all for watching and see you next time.